Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Friday night Super Metroid Zelda 3 combo randomizer race. I am Big Bok, back in the saddle for the first time in quite a while. So we've got MM2 Nest cartridge and Furflu, it's now in Korea, and a few other options. How's everyone doing tonight? Alrighty, we are underway. This is a this is a normal logic seven seven four race. Seven crystals to enter Ganon's tower, seven crystals to damage Ganon, and four super Metroid bosses to make it to Torian. Pretty much as standard as it gets. See MM two doing the arm pumping, so it's far for Lou. That get that just gets you a little bit of extra extra speed. Both runners right into Zelda. I saw a red crystal at Eastern. The red crystal, red crystal at Eastern was all I caught there. First pack of power bombs in the Sanctuary and a heart piece at Link's house. Well, the power bombs are going to be important, especially because we don't know where more pull bombs is, and there's a lot of places where they can be. So a pendant at desert. And boss token hero. Thank you, Vinny. Ooh, desert is green pendant. Interesting. MM2 in the moat. Shovel. That opens a couple of checks. Arrows on the bush grab. Uncle's got another hurt piece. Lumberjack Ledge is a bomb capacity upgrade. We will not be seeing that. Barfalu into the forest. And MM2 looks like he's heading for CAC. Hard for Farfalu at the mushroom spot, that's always welcome. Then an error quest to the upgrade of the that's the thieves hideout, I think. Tree pull is a blank, I think I saw. Can that be can that happen? We saw green rupees on Farfalu's tree pole. Yuck. Alrighty, Farfalu reaching CAC first. MM2 gonna save and quit. Our first missile pack and our first super missile pack. Ammo's gonna be important in the early game until we find charge beam and at least one other beam to amp up its power. Shovel spot is just a blue rupee. That's that's nothing. Back at the tavern is more missiles. MM2 oh farms up three bombs off the bushes. That'll that'll get him through through the cat checks handily. No kill, no pull. Okay. Did not know that. Birdie, what's on the library ledge? Looks like just arrows. Farfalu taking a lot of time to try to farm up some bombs on the bushes. There's one.
And he's going to use that to get to the bomb hut. Cuckoo House is more missiles. Yeah, I know neither of our runners have the 100 rupees to buy whatever the bottle vendor has. But MM2 will be able to check the back of the well here, which Farfalu did, was not able to. But it's nothing. Now, Farfalu's got to take a little extra time to go back in the well since he didn't have the bombs the first time. Alrighty, MM2 heading for Blind's Basement. Magic Cape. Ether Medallion. Mushroom. Heart piece. So the Ether Medallion is useless without a sword. But that the cape could be a piece of Aga 1, ac Aga 1 for Dark World access. And the Mushroom obviously opens up the Witch. Farfalu has had enough of Kek. He is saving and exiting. MM2 buy some bombs and then follow suit. Looks like we're both heading for the South Shore. So yeah, the dam, mini Moldorm, and Ice Rod Cave, I believe. So while we've had a little bit of downtime, what kind of seeds do you all like in chat? I'm always a fan of, there's a lot of different ways the seed can go, who can plot the most efficient route? As opposed to, there's one way through, who can do it the fastest? Alright, Farfalu's got five bombs from the mini Moldworms, but MM2 has a full ten. Like, looks like Farfalu. Ooh, twofer. Well done. I jump boots. And a reserve tank. Right, MM2 is not quitting, so it looks like he's going to go for that Ice Rod Cave. So, not sure what Farfalu's doing. Ooh, Vinny pointed out Blueprint Ceiling is in logic. Thank you, I had forgotten about that. And of course, in that area, we also have the Morph Ball Pedestal. Farfaloo now heading up to the castle for his boat check. Ooh, MM2 taking a death.
So we'll see if MM2 decides to go back to... It looks like he's had... Looks like he might be heading back for Ice Rod Cave. Maybe not. Heading for Eastern, then, would be my guess. Ah, uh, yes, the Hotrilla's Closet. That's our first energy tank for Super Metroid. Those are always welcome. Plus some more Super Missiles. Ah, far flew into the dungeon. I forgot about that. I am so out of practice. Ooh, grappling beam. Doesn't open anything on its own, but... Monopoly Man, there are four cross-game transitions. The hut near the lake takes you from Super... The hut near the lake in Link to the Past takes you to the Criteria, Criteria map room in Super Metroid. The Ice Rock Cave location in the Dark World takes you to the B Meridia Missile Refill. Norfair map room takes you to Death Mountain. And Gold Torizo Energy Refill takes you to Misery Mire. Happy to be a service monopoly man. All right, MM2. All right, they both. MM2 and Farfalu both making progress in their respective dungeons. I don't think anything's been found just yet. There's one prize for Eastern. Did we see a second one before? There's the compass. But an E-Tank too, so that's two prizes out of three. Last location we can access is going to be the big key chest, but that is out of logic because of dark room. Actually, if Venom 2 found an E-Tank in Eastern, that means with the one from Mini Moldorm and the Nope Tank, he's got three now. That's, that is, that is your bare minimum to survive Mother Brain's Hyper Beam. Alrighty, that is all three prizes from Eastern. All we just have to come back later with the bow to get the crystal. Alrighty, MM2, where are you going? Trying, uh, he's trying to fake them. Biddy says this will take, this will be for the mushroom turn in? Just a shortcut there, or? I thought this was the way to King Zora. Oh no, I'm wrong. The 
the flute. How about that? The FM2 is going to head right to CAC to get that. Crescent, you are absolutely right. We could have, we could have, we could have progression at Alpha Power Bombs. Yeah, we have access, we have access to Norfair with that, with that, with that flute through the Death Mountain Warp. And we can get, we can get to Alpha Peebs with the high jump boots we found earlier. And if you all will please rise for the Hyrule National Anthem. Vidi, I know Ice Beam is the vanilla Super Metroid logic to get to Alpha Peebs, but I'm not 100% sure if the randomizer expects that too. Ah, yes, MM2 flying to the South Shore, gonna follow up on that ice cave check. Hopefully not get bodied by the crime this time. <laughs> Crabs are jerks! Alrighty, what do we have here? The Vampire Skewer. Whoops. I guess we can check Desert Ledge, too. Can we get into Desert? I don't think we can. Oh, Aguinas Cave. Yeah, and I'm too cleaning up on these early checks with that with that flute. All righty, I'm too gonna backdoor the. Backdoor Gary the Old Man. This again is out of logic, but these are not particularly hard dark rooms to do. Yeah, while we've got a little downtime, how about you give our runners MM2 Nest Cartridge and Farfalu a follow, as well as, as, well as our, our trackers, Kiff and Diametheus. And if you wouldn't mind giving me one too, I'd love that. Careful. Ten arrows, so no progression behind Gary. MM2 getting trolled. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna head up and check the items there. Fortunately, with the old man saved, he's got the respawn point here if he does die. Spectacle Rock is a buck. That is the speed booster. Hey, Bressingham, how's it going? Yeah, Vinny, Morphle Super Metroid is something I really love to see. It's because it's such an it's such a subversion of the way the game is supposed to be played. It's so interesting. 
Oh, we we bought up with a lot of ammo. Alrighty. And we have two into the Terminator room. Oh, well, Farfalu's catching up on checks. And there's our Morph Ball. So, so much for that. Yeah, the magic number on Power Bomb Packs is three. Once you have three, then if the Ice Beam doesn't show up, you have enough to destroy all four Metroid rooms in Torian without needing to rely on drop lugs or backtracking to refill. Super Missiles at Omega. ITV agreed. This is... MM2... MM2 to, is absolutely... Yeah, MM2 is... I hesitate calling the lead until we hit... Until someone hit go mode. But yeah, MM2 definitely has the advantage at this point. Well done for Shaft Supers, which is the other buck. Alright, MM2 now out of power bombs. I don't know if these enemies can drop power bombs, so he's gonna have to be real careful he doesn't get caught somewhere he can't get out of. Oh right, down here you can you can get out of here with the Alcatraz escape. What does Bomb Teresa have? Gravity suit! Ooh, almost got back out of there. But with those super missiles, two of them will end Gold Terizo in a big hurry. Or two regular missiles, that is super. That works too. We could see some route divergence here if Farfalu decides to take take the truck game transition to the Norfair Business Center. Yeah, MM2 is going to return to the ship, get his energy back, probably going to spark up to the Criteria power bombs. Why did I even say that? That's completely obvious that was what he was going to do. But it's just 20 bucks. Already far flew hard resetting to spawn back in Super Metroid as well. And I'm too going for Gauntlet, but oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna re He's going to heal up first. Good call. Yeah, I've seen Gauntlet a decent amount recently from watching SM Arcade speedruns. Oh, Gauntlet Spark with the open door. That is also a thing that can happen. Going for a short charge through the door. Doesn't quite get it. The reserve tank is full since he ship refilled. So he's got another 100 energy to play with.
Yikes, that was close. Alrighty. Post Gauntlet Missiles. Get the Double Fall. Yes. Yes. Blue Tunic and Super Missiles. I would take both of those. Meantime, Furfaloo has found 300 rupees in the back of the early supers room. And there is Farfalu's third energy tank, so he's, he now has bare minimum for Mother Brain. Oh, there's that magical third power bomb pack. How about that? And MM2 gonna be hot on Farfalu's heels here. Nice mock ball into this room. There's our Quake Medallion. Barfalu now heading for the Eticoons. There's one item in their area. Good, nice speed ball there. All right, up. Bottle, that'll open sick kid. This is Mission Impossible, I think. I don't remember what this room is called. But it gets us five bucks. It's all coming back to me. Setting up to break the off-screen super missile block to backdoor Spore Swan's item. He probably gets that pretty handily. Fifty bucks. We we have enough. For, yeah, with the three hundred we found in Brinstar Reserve, we have enough for for the bottle ender, but not King King Zora yet. Farfalu trying to open the gate from the wrong side by abusing the way super missiles accelerate, and he pulls it off. For 20 bucks, he's not gonna bother. First try for MM2, well done! Nice heart container at pre-charged missiles. Charge Beam itself is another hard container, and we have access to Waterway with that gravity suit. Oh, Farfalu doesn't have gravity. He didn't do Bomb Teresa. I didn't realize. It's the short charge, and what do we have here? Fisher Price Shield. Pretty Farfalu is going to be the first one into Green Hill Zone. We'll see what direction he goes from there. I would absolutely take this opportunity to clean out Retro Bren. Just some more bombs for the Green Hill Zone item.
Ooh, there's our first lift upgrade at Retro Brim Power Bombs. And another energy tank at the Morph Pedestal. Barfalu not doing Alpha Missiles yet for some reason. Guess he's gonna get them on the way back. And then Blueberries is just... Blueberries at both Beta Missiles and at... Celine tank MM2 making the same play. Billy Maze's Missiles and Heart Container. MM2 is going to check Alpha Missiles first. And that but that's just 20 bucks. Nothing doing. So while we've got a little downtime chat, what are your favorite items that the for the runners to have to look hard for? One of mine is what of mine is the high jump boots, because you don't know how much they help until you have to navigate without them. Same goes for the Morph Ball, too, really. Old Mother Brain Room is just an enter is a bomb capacity upgrade. Yeah, Far yeah, Farfalu knows he doesn't have. If he need, he would need one more power bomb to check sh check Shaft Supers and get back out. Fortunately, there is an escape tunnel for Omega missiles there, so. Diametheus, you are absolutely right. Having having to ration power bombs if you don't have the regular bombs, that's another nice bit of strategy that it's fun to see the runners work through. Gravity Suit, MM2 has access to a very large portion of Super Metroid, as does Farfalu, so we'll see where they go from here. I mentioned this a lot when I do commentary, but you don't really need that many items to beat Super Metroid. Glitchless slow percent is only 15 items, and 9 or 10 of those are ammo and energy. Alright, moat spark, what's at the moat? Heart, heart piece, fly above. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna check the ocean here since he's got, since he's got that gravity suit. I, I'm sure Farfalu will as well. I would have taken that hard. I mean, it would have been an extra two seconds because he was already there. And is there any advantage to having a lower amount of health in Zelda? Spooky missiles. Hey, it's all more ball bobs. How about that? I prize refills, death warps, yeah, that makes sense. 
what's generally a comfortable amount of health for an for an endgame Zelda run? I know speedruns just go at it with the three. Alright, Fantoon. 2,500 health. Missiles do 100. Super missiles normally do 300, but he's weak to them, so they'll do 6. But let's hope we don't see the enrage pattern that comes if a super missile doesn't kill him. Doppler strats move done by moving moving forward as you fire the missiles to to decrease the hit time. Oh, well done! MF2 making it look like nothing. Or the red pendant. Boosh. Remind me, is there a way to check in Super Metroid which bosses have which credits? Because I know you can see the to you can see the tokens on Super on the Zelda map. Oh, it is on the Super Metroid map. Okay, yeah. Boss cross game boss token shuffle was not a thing the last time I did this. Already, MM2 not even going to make a convenience save. He's just going to go straight through and check the wreck ship E tank. Normally, you would save at the save room in the wreck ship, and then if there's nothing, you just reset to that room to save the backtrack time. Spring Ball! for Luke getting trolled a little bit by by Fantoon. And takes him out to, despite some despite some trolliness, Fantoon is down for Farfalu. Thank you for that that little tidbit. Flutter's execution is absolutely on point so far. Oh, hey, MM2 is now at six E tanks, and there's his third power bomb pack. That six E tanks means that if various suit does not show up, although I think it has to in normal, then he would have enough to survive Butter Brain's hyper beam, because in vanilla SM. The hyper beam is the one thing that various suit reduces the gravity suit doesn't. Missiles in the sky is another heart container. Missiles in the maze. Oh, that's our plasma beam! Now. Now we just need charge, and ammo is more or less obsolete. Although in some cases, such as Ridley, super missiles would be faster damage because they're faster firing.
Alrighty, the bowling, Chozo. mm 2 has got about a 30-second break here. Be a good opportunity to get, take a few deep breaths, get a drink of water. Breakable chose always just missiles, as is normal. And reserve. 20 bucks. Another 20 bucks at the grab suit item. And we are done with wreck ship. Marvel are doing some nifty spring ball shenanigans to get back through the attic room. And MM2 heading to the red tower. Yeah, agreed, Diamethius. The, the damage improvement you get from Plasma Beam plus enemy piercing, absolutely worth it. There's our first sword. So yeah, talking about Plasma, I remember back when Taz videos were publishing the any percent real-time and in-game time tasks separately. Like, the in-game time run, one of them, I don't remember which, one of them got to Mother Brain faster than the other one, but then lost all that time back to going to having Spazer instead of Plasma. And there's Bombo, so no medallion games this time. Yeah, with with MM2's health being what it oh let's get I for energy recharge here and I think MM2 is gonna go back up for the X-ray item. Yep, well good call. Not gonna be back here for a while. He boosted the wrong way for the first one. MM2 making that look like nothing. Just making it look easy. But it's just some blueberries. MM2 able to navigate even with those fire fleas dead. That's really impressive. Or 
Alright, so we've got Spacer Room here before we move into Meridia. Be very surprised if MM2 does not take the break the tube and head in. Twenty more bucks. Okay, so we're just going to break the tube and proceed through. Probably going to do crate first. Slick. And of course, Farfalu over there has got the grappling beam, so he, that's, that's just simple for him. I remember when I was young, that crack in the floor leading to Kraid. It took me ages to find that. Alrighty, MM2. Are you going to do the Kraid quick kill, or are we going to have some DLC? Hey, Nito, what's up? Very quick kill, done very easily. Gets credit for Fantoon. Well, that, well, you do need that, so... Ooh, the bow at the various suit. A reminder for those of you who might be more familiar with the Link to the Path randomizer. Ooh, there's Titan's Mets. And that... We are a Moon Pearl away from Dark World access. Anyway, I was as I was trying to say before we found those Titan's Mets, we do... The randomized... The, Legend of, the Link to the Past randomizer settings were forked from version 29, so we do not have progressive bows. Silver arrows are out there somewhere. Uh, yep, MM2 and Meridia gets 20 bucks from the mainstream missiles. Spazer at the Krebs, Super is absolutely no way he's going to get that. Barfalu puts Crane down like a monster he is. Five bucks at the E-Tank in Mama Turtle. And Mama Turtle Wallace missiles, just like in the OG. Here in 77 with a party of five Raiders, welcome to Speed Gaming 3. We are about an hour into a Super Metroid Link to the Past random combo randomizer race. Yeah, as one of our trackers, Diametheus, put it, we have had a nice mix of jet and safety in the seat so far. Okay, what's at the beach? 20 bucks. Agreed, Farron. This is a very good matchup. Execution from both of these rudders has been on point. MM2 is doing a little better, though. Watering hole. How about that? There's our charge beam. 
We would still like Ice Beam so that we don't have to use Power Bombs on the Metroids. But other than that, MM2 is set to clear, full clear Super Metroid aside from Varia. All right, MM2 is going to make us make a save here and start checking the sand pits. Ooh, second sword. And another bottle. MM2 is not going to take it though. Interesting. I couldn't tell what the what the Dragon boss item was. Yeah, I have the restream playing on my phone. <laughs> But I, it, the, it was too small. All right, what's in the left sand pit? Screw attack. And a reserve tank, which is vanilla. Yeah, MM2 gonna keep that. Don't blame him. Unfortunately, MM2 does not have that grappling beam, so he cannot get to Shack Tool. So we'll see that. We'll see soon if Farfalu is going to go for. We'll, we'll make that attempt. So MM2 at the rid at the Meridia exit, and he's not gonna go back. Gonna head down to Norfair. Uh it was like Farfalu decided he didn't want to didn't want that screw attack. So, alrighty, high jump area, three items here. Tempered Sword! And a hundred bucks. We may have Zora money at this point. I don't know how much... I don't know exactly how much we found. Thank you, Diametheus. MM2 marked Dragon as a pendant, so that would mean it would have to be the blue pendant. Since Fatoon had the red, and we know Desert's the green. Right, MM2 can hell run if he wants to. He's got plenty of energy to do it with. But, and at long last, we have some root divergence. Barfalu is gonna push on through push on through Meridia to to take on Dragon. But Wound Posey, no problem whatsoever. MM2 Hell running to cord the ice beam. Post by Wooney Tank gets just more rupees. 
Ice beam item is missiles. Farfalu gets the regular halfy, just goes halfway across the Coliseum. Alrighty, so Dragon, Precious Missiles, and Post Dragon. What do we have? There's another E tank, always welcome. And that actually gives Farfalu enough to do stand up versus Mother Brain. So that. So that, 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 that can save some good time. All right, all right, MM2's back into Link to the Past, and we finally have some Root Divergence. Looks like Barflu was trying to go for the Spike Suit, didn't get it. Alright, back of escape. Barfalu shocks Dragon to death by grappling a broken turret. Blue boomerang, energy tank, small key. I think that means there is something... Yeah, Dragon was blue pendant. Yeah, I think that means there's something at Dark Cross, or could it be the... Could that be the compass? MM2 going in the front of the castle. Right, MM2 didn't do the dungeon yet. But MM2's got that temper sword and that'll make this that'll make this a cakewalk. Barfalu heading for plasma beam room. The only item in Meridia that you that is technically before the tunnel. Right, it's there's a map in in the the dungeon, but no compass, right? So yeah, Dark Cross has to be an item. We appreciate your keeping us updated, Biddy. So, plasma, plasma Beam item is a heart. Alright, is MM2 going to try some Hell Runs? Oh, yeah, MM2's back into Super Metroid. He's, yeah, he, this this will be the time for him to to take out Dragon. And I think Farfalu's going to go for Shaq Duel. This is, this is definitely the time to do it for him. Yep. That jump is a pain in the ass, though. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we do have access to the. Yeah, we. Yeah, we don't have we don't have the moon pearl, so I'm not sure what we can do in Meyer, Nito. Shack Tomb Room is also a nice break for Farflu while Shack Toon digs his way through. Do the same thing as with as MM2 did in the bowling chozo. Just take take a few deep breaths, get a drink. Okay, so if Vinny was right, it's either this or it's King Zora. It's this. That's our Moon Pearl. That's our Dark World access. Personally, Diabetes, my pod location is Showcase Showdown. You know, Vinny, I actually don't know how it got that name. Anyone else? MM2 doing lots of damage with Shine Sparks. Well done by MM2. Gets the Spike Spark. Not sure what that'll do for him other than let him run while keeping the Shine Charge. It's probably just going to use the Shine Charge for the Reverse Full Happy. Looks like he lost the shine somehow. Not sure how that happened. Yeah, like I, like I know what the showcase showdown. I know what it's a. I know it's a reference to the Price is Right. I just we don't know how the how that room got its name. Got that name. Looks like Farfalloon decided he has enough rupees, so he's not going to grab the 100 at high jump. Already, Farfalu is back into super, back into Link to the Past himself.
Alrighty, MM2, you've got Shaq, Tool, and Zora available. What what player are you gonna make? Yeah, Farb's got the pearl. He's yeah. We're about we're about to see uh, the whole Astar world. Crystal Six is Thieves Town. There were three crystals along the east edge of the map. Alrighty, MM2 is making the shack check. Uh, Farfalu has 598 rupees, so he, yeah, if there is something to King Zora, Farf's got the money for it. Boss Token Meyer. Thank you, Diamethius. Good point, Viddy. Nothing been doing in Thieves Town so far. Yeah, Farfalu needs to be careful. He didn't do the back of Gauntlet, so he doesn't have that blue mail. Alright, MM2 went back into Link to the Past. Alright, MM2 is going to check Meyer. Ooh, half magic at, bl at blind. Blind's window. Two items here, blueberries, missiles. Looks like MM2 gonna stick his stick his nose right in, in here, just probably just they're going to recharge just to be safe and then stick his nose in here for the screw attack item. Blueberries. Oh, he's go he's going for it. All right, so what's a showcase showdown? Going to fight Gold Teresa by 
Yeah, he is completely safe in that spot, and by crouching and using L and R to aim up, each plasma shot will hit Gold Torito twice. So this will take him out very quickly. Make it, it looks simple. Red shield, and then Shokai Shiron is just a heart piece. So we will not be seeing the space jump for that. Those of you who might not know, that item is completely inaccessible without space jump because of a logic catch in the original Super Metroid. In that game, there's no sprite for having screw attack without also having space jump. So the Chojo that trains to lava pool to get you to that item will not function without space jump. Ooh, MM2 is gonna push toward Ridley. Gutsy call. Yeah, MM2's got enough for a crystal flash if he wants to. Two, really, if he if he can grab a couple of more power bombs after the first one. But what's he gonna do? Is he gonna stay is he gonna go straight on the path or try to detour for some checks? Getting the wall jumps up the worst room in the game. So named because it lags like a jerk and it's just generally a pain in the ass to do do quickly. Uh, Magic Powder at the Mickey Mouse Room. And Kev saying we've got the flippers from the brewery. Barfalu doing the dig game. For the mirror! Alrighty, MM2 is... He's safe in this room. This room is not heated. Just have to be careful of the fire fleas. Just a hard piece at the room. So yeah, yeah he's gonna... Gonna get to a safe spot and just... He's, yeah, he's got a crystal flash. So MM2 doing the... Farfalu doing the fifth chain, it looks like. Tempered sword tempering turns up missiles. Screw attack putting in work here because these key hunters take a lot of shots to destroy. Oh, and he's not going to make a safety save. Very bold call. Purple with the lunch pail. Powerbomb of shame is 50 bucks. MM2 not going to take that. Farfalu checking K45. Blueberries. MM2 is really pushing his luck here. Hopefully these pirates should give him some good drops. Okay, he's got enough... Okay, he needs three power bombs to do a crystal flash. The round enemies up in this next room were the one right for really. These are almost guaranteed to drop power bombs if you don't have them, if you don't have any, or, or if you're not full, I should say. Gonna drain his reserves. Lunchbox is 20 bucks. So now MM2 is gonna, gonna farm up as much as he can before he's gotta use that crystal flash. And there it goes.
and I, be I believe when you have the grapple beam, you can farm the bugs quickly enough to break even on even when even when the root even without Varia. So hype cave. Well, there's Varia. Yeah, MM yeah, you can see MM2's health is go it's going down because of how quickly he can farm his health is going down very slowly. Well, comparatively slowly. As soon as he hits the 25 supers, he's probably going to call this quits. The super missiles are out. As I mentioned earlier, super missiles are faster damage against Ridley than I think anything else because of how, because one, he takes double damage from them, and two, you can fire them much faster than you can charge your beam. Okay, Ridley has 18,000 health. Oh, shh, shh, oh dear, MM2 took a hit. Oh, oh no. This is over. There's no way. Zero energy. Yeah, yeah, he just got up, got up, abandoned that line of inquiry. Where was his last save? Oh, it was it was when he. His last save was when he transitioned to Super Metroid to check the. To get into lower north here. Oh, that hurt. That hurts. All right, what's on the pyramid? I didn't see. Oh, just a heart piece. I mean, yes, yeah, the, the, not, the information gained is definitely valuable. Alrighty, MM2, where are you off to next? He's, had, he's heading for Dark World through CAC. Catfish gets us some more power bombs. And Farfalu mirrors out to Zora's domain. Got the ledge item, these two, and the King Zora. Agreed, Amethyst. I, I, yeah, I would have rather not gotten the info and not lost the time. Zora Ledge is just a heart piece. Alrighty, for 500 bucks, what have we got from King Zora? Fire Rod! Value today. Fire Rod is a hard requirement, if I recall correctly. Anyone can anyone familiar with SM with Zelda Zelda Three Logic confirm that? All right, far heading into the mire area. Right, they're both required for Trinex. I knew that. I, there's something... Right, and then Ice Palace requires either 
Fire Rod or Bobos? To melt the cold chair shell. Cold stair shell. And Far yeah, Farfalu has that various suit, so he, he can he can go do lower warfare right now if he wants to. Oh yes, yeah, Skull Woods. I forgot about that. Just a big heart at the checkerboard cave. Test up. You, you can do that with just lamp. I've seen it before, but it's very tight. Alrighty, Farf, where you headed? Farf's gonna do lower Norfair, or at least, or at least take a look. I see Farfalu has 30 super missiles, which is the magic number for Ridley. He's got 18. He's got 18,000 health. Super missiles do 600 apiece to him. So 30 of them is enough to exactly kill him without needing to do... Without needing to charge me. Not sure what he, why he's doing this. I don't understand what the point of wasting his ammo is. Oh, super drops. I did not know that. Quick 10, I believe. The attack pattern forcing is based on where Samus is, as I recall. Because MM2 did the same thing. Oh! Oh, I didn't know that, Nito. Thank you. Below 32 missiles, he'll never use the beam attack. Honestly, I think MM2 taking the death it really is gonna is it may be the deciding factor for this race. Too early to tell tell just yet, but it's MM2 fighting blind, a completely scripted fight unless you take a death. MM2 is down to one heart, he's gonna pop the cape and that'll do it. Okay, what are we missing for Link to the Past? I know we're, we're missing Hammer, Ice Rod. Lamp is logically expected. Oh, 
Samaria. Thank you, Diametheus. Hookshot. Yeah, hookshot too. So, Ice Rod, Hammer, Hookshot, Samaria. Lamp, logically. Pegasus Boots. to enter Meyer expected by the uh, by the Zelda 3 logic Short work of Ridley, well done. Uh, tracker, if you can mark that MM2 to get the mirror, please. Thank you. Yeah, MM2 doing the lunchbox. All right, so Farfalu should get us three more checks. Peeves in jail, Hooder Ruby special, and Franker Z room. Looks like MM2 is going to finish off Eastern Palace. Need that for the boss credit. And actually, that'll... That'll be both 5-6 crystals for him, so he'll be able to get... Check, check the Pyramid Fairy. I heard hammer at Hood Ruby special. No, oh, Peeves in jail. Alrighty, so. Yeah, MM2 will get that hammer on his way back out of Norfair. And then the one last item here is the Franker Z room. MM2 getting trolled by the Red Igor.
And this will also give Farflu the opportunity to do some Upper Norfair cleanup, which we haven't seen yet. Setting up the quick end for the Armos Knights gets it handily. Whippy Madam is a heart piece. All right, MM2, what have you got in mind? It's like another Dark World trip. Two items back where the speed booster is. First one is missiles, that's vanilla. Power bombs. Pretty far flew in the Norfair Reserve area. Missiles again? Is this even randomized? Yeah, two red crystals, Nito. Uh, was Eastern and Deep Down. Pretty Farfalu is not betting on Croc this time. Oh, no, wait, he, he can't go to Croc that way because he doesn't have Weight Beam. Right, MM2 gonna get his various suit. Uh, Farflu is not betting on Croc. He's heading back to Link to the Past. Probably going to chase that hammer if I had to guess. Oh, right. Harris right here. So, yeah, he's probably doing that. But MM2 is chasing the big bomb. What is MM2 doing? I don't know what this is. Oh. What purpose does duping the big bomb serve? Oh, he sequence breaking around needing the hammer to get to the pyramid. Okay. Barfalu in Spiral Cave, or as we like to call it without the boots, Resident Sleeper Cave. Already Pyramid Fairy, what you got for us? Nothing. Spiral Cave is also nothing.
Bird flew into Paradox Cave, so named because its layout makes no sense at all. Seven items total in here, these two and then another five upstairs. There's our ice beam. We don't need to freeze the Metroids. And Samaria! Nice! Nice bomb dump to skip back. Yeah, like I said, the the layout, the entry exit layout makes no sense. X-ray scope on the floating island. We are not going to see that. Oh God, I just realized this is going to be an ice rod hunt seed, because that can be literally anywhere except on Trinax. We're going to go ahead and open up Turtle Rock with the Quake Medallion, which is vanilla, I believe. We have not had a pet check, Base Beast, because we do not have the book. Here we are in Super Money now. Ice Rod could absolutely be on pad. That would be probably the biggest troll I've ever seen. Like I said, as I recall, the literally the only place Ice cannot be is on Trinex himself because it's required to beat him. MM2's back over to Misery Mire. Looks like he's going to... He's going to check checkerboard and probably go do his lower Norfair. Meanwhile, Farfalu is heading for the Palace of Darkness. Uh, Shack Tool Seed and and Ice Rod on Pet, would, that would be awful. So we are Ice Rod Limp and Hook Shot from No Mode. I mean, base piece, I mean, it would be, it would be hilarious for us to see, but if, if I was a runner and that happened, I would probably spike my controller. I mean, yeah, Schadenfreude is absolutely a thing. There's our lamp.
Barfalu making his way through Pod very nicely. I don't think I've seen the big key in pod yet. So the chest, that, that, that big chest there is out of logic. Speak of the devil. Two chests down here, I believe. There's our wave beam. So that's, we are, we are kispy. Wave, Ice, Plasma, Quip. Yeah. I can't believe that was so hard for me. Wow, where is my brain today? Yeah, and I know we saw Spazer, but it was immediately a... Yeah, Spazer was a Crab Supers, which was... Yeah, no. We saw that after we got Plasma. There's our boots! So no Schrodinger's go mode where we ha where we wait and see if the big key is on the torch. Good play, Vinny. Yeah, the bonk... Yeah, since Meyer bonk is in logic, Meyer is accessible. We need for swamp. Oh, hookshot. Can you pull the puffs off of Argus without the hookshot? Oh, you said partially. use of the cape to keep himself safe from Palmasaur King. Or the map. What's on your mind? Oh, finished finished Eastern. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, big chest room requires hook shot. Okay. As this, you're, yep, Dami, it's always bad on Croc. And if the bet doesn't pan out, you can say that that was a Croc. to see if MM2 decides to do, do the croc check. It's, this would be the time to do it for him because he's got all four SM bosses down. He, a lot, those, and I think those are the only items left. Excellent armos fight from Farfalu. Farfalu making the Ice Palace play. Anybody remember how many prizes are in Ice Palace? I do. I do not. Three prizes. Okay. Eight checks, three prizes. Got it. New Harapot Threat, New Tech and Swamp. Okay, we look forward to seeing those. Okay, going for door state extension. Well done! Very quickly got that. Alright, there's prize number one. Now, I believe I heard the gl that glitz described as th there's something about doors that lets you walk through walls when you're in them, which is how they work. So you use doors to extension to make more door, basically, right? Yeah, Icebreaker is the, is the glitch's application in that specific spot. The actual glitch, like I said, is called door state extension. Price number two. Oh, we got MM2 in Hera. Let's see what we got here. There's the map. And I do remember Hera is two prices. And there it is, three prizes in Swamp. Nothing left. Ice, yeah.
All right, for our flu, about to fight Cold Stare. Got plenty of magic to melt the shell with eight fire rod shots. Definitely faster than doing it with bombos. Did that somehow cause the sword beams to duplicate the effect of the fire rod? Because that was not eight fire rod shots. Cool. Never seen that. So we are hookshot and ice rod from go mode. Heading for Skull Woods, it looks like. Skull Woods is two prizes, correct? Super Metroid is my stronger game by far. Zelda just never really ca ca captured me the way it captured so many others. right to the back. MM2 doing Super Bunny. Magic Bat when the runners were doing the, the Smith chain. All right, Mothula. I, I, I want to ask the boss, the devs who made this boss, who hurt you? Moving spikes, conveyor belt floors, Mothula itself. Why? Animizer video. I've heard horror stories about that. It looks like Farfalu is going to go ahead and full clear, see, at least get the prizes. See, at this point, you probably won't. You, at this point, you're not. You're leaving no stone unturned. And that must be both prizes because Farfalu is abandoning this line of inquiry.
Bumper Ledge is just a heart piece. Barflu Graveyard Ledge. Bonk Rocks is just that missile. Yeah, Brixton, yeah. Pet is absolutely in play because Ice Rod is one of our two go mode items. Here's Graveyard Ledge. Oh yeah, Green Pendant turn in. Baghdad. All right, Farfalu never checked the escape, and I don't think we saw Dark Cross either. Alrighty, Dark Cross, see what we got. so funny to me that it's faster to mirror from the priest to exit sanctuary. Alrighty. Looks like Farfalu's heading for Meyer. And Meyer was also quick. MM2, like, he's in the perfect position to check the bat. Oh no, he, no, he does have hammer. What's he thinking? Oh, hammer pegs. That's why he came to the dark world. So yeah, I'm, yeah, absolutely he'll get his magic bat check. Yep, there's our ice rod. All right, so that is hook shot from. We are a hook shot away from no mode.
20 bucks on the bat. Is he a hook the swamp or yeah, yeah, gamble on the hook shot bean there? Yeah, and I'm going going to Turtle Rock for sure. So yeah, he can do Harrow while he's here. one of our Meyer prizes. I don't know if we saw the other one. There it is. Desert is the last pendant, right? So hookshot could be on, could still be on pad. Red mail is always nice. Far flew over to Vitrius. Abusing the cape to do damage. And now that'll be eight arrows to the big eye. Farfalu going to explore desert. Two prizes here. Plus, of course, the pendant. The green pendant. Key on the torch means boots are mandatory to fall clear, correct? So we can kind of, we can check the tablet terrain logic now. Thank you. 
Yeah, let Molus is going here, yeah. Two fire rods on cheats, and they're all down. Quickly. And yep, it's on the big... Last one's on the big key. On the big... In the big key chest. Did not, Biddy. Alrighty. Do we have them in the swamp in the desert, Big Chest? Arrows! MM2 doing laser bridge. Gotta be careful. He's got one heart. Two. You might want to set the respawn point just to be safe, MM. Alrighty, we got a pet pull. What do we have? Power bombs. Pet it. That was a lie. Oh, Farfalu never did Gary. So it's looking more and more like Croc is the play. Or maybe you or for French Videla hookshot in swamp. tablets or Hera. There are silvers on the Aether tablet. Combo's tablet's still in play too. Coffee break strats from Farfalu. Nah, I keep my money's on Croc.
Yeah, I don't think we've seen either Hera prize yet. Money! Going for the bomb jump. Decided not to. And that's both prices. So it is not Hera. Alrighty, Moldorm. The last time I commentated a race, somebody jumped down into the arena and then immediately got bounced off by Moldorm charging. That did not happen this time, but when that happened, it was hilarious. Alrighty, what's Farfalu got in mind now? Oh yeah, Spike Cave. <laughs> Burfalu considering his options. Alright, where's he going? Green Pendant turn in. Nope. All right, I think Farfalu's about to bet on Croc. Let's see if this pays off. Burning down Frog Speedway as you do. So if it's not Croc, what's left? Is it just... Yeah, Bombo's Tablet, and then French Vanilla Swamp Palace. Oh, right, the first chest in Hugshot Cave, too. Alrighty, Krakomayuri does not have a flag set to stop Plasma Beam Shots, because you are not supposed to be able to get it for him. So we'll just go through him, hitting him every frame, and this happens. So obviously it's not that one. We have we have Sine Wave, Indiana Jones, and Post Post Croc Peebs and the Grappling Beam item. Four chances.
Bark. There's the last shield. Not what we want. Yeah, Croc Escape is a piece of heart. Perfalu not checking sine wave? Yeah, I guess he'll get it on the way out. And there it is! You bet the Croc was the play! We are in no mode! Gonna check the grapple room just, just cause. Just a heart piece. I mean, if that had been space jump, that would have been cool, but... Yeah, it's, yeah. This, this, will, this will take an extra 10 seconds and just money. Right, so Farfalu just has to do his hammer, his hammer pegs for go mode. And then MM and then MM2 needs to bet on Croc. Nice recovery. MM2 doing Skull Woods. Okay, what happens first? Does MM2 check Croc or does Farfalu check Hammer Pegs? Yeah, looks like Farfalu's going Swamp. Yeah, Farfalu's gonna full yeah, as 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 Vin, as you said, Vinny, Farfalu's gonna full clear this and it's gonna take a while. West wing, the right side swamp you mean? The left side swamp. MM2 in his mothula fight. Mothiel is just not cooperating at all. That was a gong show. Never seen a bomb jump do that before. Looks like the big key is in the back of Swamp, so Farfalu will have to come back for the big chest. Farfalu going for Diver Down. 
gets it pretty quick, and I'd honestly, if I'm far flew at that point, I'm I'm close enough to where the close enough to the big chest that I would have gone back for it. We don't need the cane to burn up. Alrighty, Furfalu is just about to Argus. The Puffs are one slash apiece with the Tempered Sword, so this is going to be a pretty quick fight. One silver arrow to the big eye. So yeah, Farfalu go mode at that. So does he go back in now or does he go somewhere else? He's going back in. MM2 getting the mire done. Is that what that's called? You going for another diver down? Oh, that's why it's called that. Cool. And Farfalu must be counting items because he's peacing out. And it's also funny in Super Metroid how the that, that missile past past Peeps in jail, the Hoda Ruby special, has absolutely nothing to do with speedrunner Hoda Ruby. Hook Hookshot was at Indiana Jones. Furf's got the big bomb on his mind. MM2 about to take out Vitreus.
Oh, we have M2 did spooky action? Alrighty, Farfalu, where are you off to? Alright. Maybe not. Oh no, Hammer Pigs is in Dark World. So yeah, this is this is the play. This is the play. Farfalu will be hitting go mode very shortly. And he's got those boots so he can hammer dash. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Barfalu is in go mode at 2 hours, 27 minutes, 45 seconds. All he has to, I believe all he has to do is beat Trinax and he can hit Ganon's tower. Heaven Pfeffer, that was terrible. Blind's text box. Absolutely, that would be perfect for Blind the Pun Master. Evan Pfeffer, you need to stop. Alright, so, yeah, Farfalu can just bolt, can, Farfalu can go mode Turtle Rock, which is, as I understand it, one of the nicer dungeons to be able to go mode. I know Go Morning Swamp is nice, you know. Apparently, we are doing dad jokes now, Need Terrific. <laughs> Do you know how you can tell the difference between Twix bars? The left ones don't taste right. Alrighty, as long as we've got both runners covering ground the other one has already done, I'll, I'll ask you, I'll ask all you fine folks again to follow our runners, follow the team, 
and they thank the turtle, the madman behind the code logic that makes the randomizer work. Why is it, the runner command is still broken? Shoot. Thanks, Diametheus. Alrighty, MM2's done with Hera. What's he got in mind? Spike Cave. Once MM2 finds that hook shot, no swamp is a crystal, so he still has to, he'll still have to do swamp. I think. Alright, he looks like MM2 is making his making his crock play. Yeah, my best friend is a midget psychic fugitive. He's a small medium at large. Trust me, Diametheus, I know I know I need better friends. Ah uh, yes. There are twenty two locations where the gold where the gold trees of where the Gannon's Tower Big key can be. So get your guesses in. Vinny has sniped out my guess, which is four always win. So I'm going to go with 22, tile room. going for, I believe this is the Hope Room check. That's one. That's two. I'm gonna go full right, it looks like. Go full left. As per usual, we do not bother with Tile Room. Mummy be in trolley. Space jump. That's three, four, five, and six. MM2's got his hook shot, so he's in go mode two. Burfalu grabs a key and mirrors back. Energy tank on. 
Not gonna take it. Yeah, so MM2 is going to have a slower Ganon fight for that reason. Unlucky number 13 is the big key. And we begin the ascent. Ah, MM2 is doing Torian first. MM2's got all the equipment to do baby skip, or do you need space jump for that? I don't remember. We'll pass that on to him, Vinny. And... Far flew into what I call the Goblet of Escalation. Enemies and Conveyors. Then you add Bemos. Oh, MM2 getting grabbed. Then you add another Bemos and Spikes. And then, because why not, you add Ice. Like, these rooms are just a cluster crap. I love doing this, Vinny. It's it's I've I've been having a great time. Lambo is too is just not cooperating today. I think Farfalu's got got enough of a lead that MM2 is not going to catch up, but it could it could definitely be close. Not to mention, as we noted earlier, MM2 doesn't have silver, so his Ganon fight is going to be much slower. MM2 Ice Wave Plasma Charge Shots do 900 damage. Mother Brain's got 18,000 health, so 20 of those shots will finish her off. MM2 taking damage intentionally, setting up for the stand up glitch. Farfalu into Moldworm, too. Mm -hmm. 
One slash and one spin finishes him off. You know, MM2 was able to stay standing by damaging himself to the to the point where another rainbow beam where he would not survive another hyper beam. So, so the game didn't know to lock him to lock him in place for the cutscene. Yeah, what there will be one more spot where the game tries to force him down. You, you'll see it. It'll be it'll be obvious in just a second. Right there. And now he's doing damage to Mother Brain Phase 3, which has 36,000 health. Felucharge with a single on Aga 2. Followed by a double. So, 1-2-1. One, one. One, two, one, two. Nice! Yeah, MM2 needs to be careful here because it you can crash the game by firing at the wrong time while this cutscene finishes. One shot to finish Mother Brain after that. That is He pushed that as hard as he could. Like you can't push it harder than that. Alrighty, Farfalu fighting Ganon. Twelve 12 slashes for each fit. <laughs> Using the cape, you know, perfect positioning from Ganon. Like, like that, that phase one and phase two was picture perfect. So now for, uh, phase three is always four slashes, each of which, each of which was in a stomp to knock off part of the arena. Now getting trolled by teleports. Single decent chat for MM2. Thank you, Diametheus. Gets the torch glitch with a single shot. Followed by a double. In another single, and we've got bacon. Get your single G's in chat for Farfalo. Alrighty, Farfalo's got about... Yeah. Super Metroid Endgame is about 12 minutes, so... I don't think... I don't think MM2's... Yeah, MM2's too far behind. I don't think he's gonna pull this off. Alrighty, the Metroids take one super missile or five regular missiles to kill and can only be damaged while they're frozen. So, hence the ice. Although they can also be killed with five hits from a power bomb, each of which can hit them twice. As I said, that's why 15 is that magic number. Once you hit 15, that's three power bombs each for four Metroid rooms, 12. So what, once you got that 15, you don't need to worry about drops or possibly backtracking to refill. And fortunately, you can also dislodge them with regular bombs.
MM2 go moding swamp, and holy crap, I didn't realize it was that fast to go mode it. Arfalu probably gonna have a slightly easier time with the uh, baby skip since he's got space jump. Well done. Yeah, execution has been absolutely on point for both of our runners here. This has been a this has been a treat to watch. Does the Zabatite skip? Because why not? We have plenty of ammo to do them, but it is fat. But the skip is faster. Well, the Brain 1 has 3,000 health and requires 18 projectiles at least to break the glass all the way, and the fight cannot progress until that has happened. Like I said earlier, Phase 2 has 18,000 health, which is 20 charged ice wave plasma shots. Chicken nuggets, onion rings, more chicken nuggets. French fry beam. And some ketchup. Alrighty. Yeah, Farfalu will be going for the stand-up glitch too. Screwing this up, I think, is the only way MM2 has a chance. So right there, MM MM2 had four tanks worth of energy, but then quickly took damage till he had less than three, so he wouldn't survive another rainbow. That normally, if you you can keep getting up until you don't have enough after a beat. After a after a rainbow beam hits you, but by damaging himself that quickly, Farflu, tr you, you trick the game into progressing into the cutscene part. Yeah, Farflu not pushing this quite as hard as MM2 did, so. MM2 will save a little bit of time going left side first. Again, you, it is absolutely possible to crash the game if you push this too far. Four shots for Farfalu. Not quite as good as MM2's one, but still very well done. I thought it was a crash, Nito, not a freeze. Huh, I must I must have been misinformed. Alrighty, Farfalu on his way out. Obviously gonna spark up the shaft. We'll see if he saves the animals. Probably not.
Nope. Alrighty, folks. That MM2 Barfalu has finished second place overall. With a time of 2 hours, 52 minutes, 4 seconds. As Thaimethia said in chat, K80 Rukawa finished first place with a time of 2 hours, 50 minutes, 33. And we did unfortunately have a DNF earlier on. Sky decided not to continue around 9.05. MM2 making his way up Ganon's tower. Probably will will probably have far fluid here for an interview shortly. Yes, we are finishing up this race. Anybody? What else is going on with speed gaming lately? Kev, Diametheus, any idea? Prime 1 and 2 cross game radio. How does that work? And we are joined by Farfalu. GG. Hey, GG. What is he now? I know. That was... I, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not sure how much fun you have, but I loved it. I loved watching this. Uh, well, to be honest, yes, I had fun. <laughs> But uh, at the beginning, uh, with uh, both Sentune and Dragon Pendant and having almost nothing, uh, I think there were only mid somewhere in Meridia or something like that. But I know nothing was in Wreck Ship. Uh, I was feeling very, very behind. Um, and then that, that very late hook shot, um, I was pretty sure to find Ice Rod somewhere in, in some palace, and then I knew I was crew, but. Uh, no, I guess uh, since we got Hammer late and Village of Outcast uh, kind of early, I guess that's what most people did. They just uh, ice run pumped. Maybe double dip TR, so uh, I saved some time there. Mm -hmm. Was there anything you felt particularly good or bad about with the routing you did? Uh, well, like I said early, it was very bad just because uh, I did the long walk uh, going to uh, uh, the, the... No, I didn't do a Gina right away, but oh yeah, I did the, the long walk to um, Ice Red Cave. Uh, I went back to CAC uh, buying the, the bottle, checking uh, race game, and then right after I find Flute. Um, some little uh, things like that may be uh, a little bad at the beginning, but um, at least, you know, if you have to do wreck ship for nothing, I, I like having Plasma Beam early, because it helped for the rest of the game. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to uh, get that one later, but uh, I think if you find Plasma after Lower Unfair, it's just a complete waste of time. Agreed. Yeah, MM2 was pretty close, but pretty close behind you on the the fan tube on the wreck ship. Play. Okay, so it's not that bad. <laughs> oh yeah, and pulling pet was uh, well, it's kind of a meme at the, that moment because uh, I was pretty sure I, I was lost because um, yeah, like I said, just that that awful routing, uh, nothing at plasma. Uh, all the pendants in SM, <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, I was still in the race, but uh, I felt so behind, I had to do stuff like that. <laughs> I get you. Letter grade scale, how much fun was this for you? For, uh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Letter grade scale, how much fun did you have? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess um, just because of the pendants in SM, I would say... Uh, Seven out of ten. Okay. No, it was still uh, funny. Uh, maybe uh, with the sword, uh, it was a, a bit too easy. But uh, I don't know. I'm a super Metroid runner, so I don't. Um, I don't mind having an easier link to the past seed. Alrighty, and with that, we've got Bacon on MM2 side. Oh, did. Okay, he did find the book, but uh, does not have the silvers. He didn't check the ether tablet. Alrighty, and MM2 has finished with a time of 2.58.41 for third place. Alrighty, we'll get MM2 in here sh shortly. Farfalu, do you want to stick around? Sure. Oh, by the way, just saw in chat, uh, MIM2 won't be joining us. Oh, no interview. Okay. Alrighty. Do you have any final comments, for Farfalu? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm a bit tired myself as well, so <laughs> I'll just uh, say thank you. We don't have much uh, restreams lately uh, for SMZ3, so um, uh, it's very nice to... Um, show this community uh, a little so um, yeah thank you it's a big commitment uh, almost three hours that run and thanks to the i cannot see i think it was diametus the tracker uh just a, a big thanks for the crew and see you next mission yeah this is the third time i've signed up since i finished moving and only the first time it's fired so All right, that's been far for you, everybody. We'll we'll go ahead and let you go. All right, good evening. And with that, I think we're ready to call the call the race for call the stream. I've been Big Bog, accompanied by Diomethius and Kith. We will see you next mission. Take care. <laughs>